Hey folks, Maverick Watch Reviews back here with another review for you. I've got something really interesting for you today. Today we have the Havan Tuvali Squadron 1 450 meter automatic diver, and this is the blue and blue model, and I'll explain that a little bit later for you. Uh, first, I want to thank Eric over at Havan Tuvali for sending me this review unit. I really appreciate it. Havan Tuvali is a brand new micro brand, and I think they're really knocking it out of the park. This is a really, really cool watch. Make sure you check out their website and pick yourself up one if you like it, and I think you will. They have free world wide shipping so you don't have to worry about shipping cost. They have four different models. Now this blue and blue is one of those four different models. So if you like the watch, make sure you check out their website and pick yourself up one. I don't think you'll regret it. Now as usual, we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of this really interesting micro brand. But first, I'd like to invite you to become a patron of mine on Patreon. This will allow me to buy a better camera, better editing software, and give you a new watch review at least a couple times a week. That's my goal. Make sure you check out my Patreon page when you get a chance. My only commitment level is $3, but you can always give more or less, one, two, three, five, whatever you can spare a month would be really, really appreciated. All right, here you go. What a stunning watch box. I absolutely love, this is now my new favorite watch box, bar none. Man, it's kind of finishing kind of like a piano black, just a really, really nice looking watch box. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's got a little magnetic closure down here, as you can see. And there you go, and there's the watch. Just a, uh, what a great looking watch, man. Really nice looking watch. Let's talk about what you get inside. Of course, you get your uh, instruction manual. You get your warranty card. Uh, you get a microfiber cleaning cloth right there. Uh, you get an extra leather strap. Uh, you also get a uh, spring bar remover tool, which is this right here. And you get a little mini flathead screwdriver to remove the links because the links have uh, uh, little screws in them. They're not, they're not push pins, they're actually little screws, uh, which I really, really like. I prefer links like this. I just think they're more secure. We can actually screw something in instead of having like the ring and collar, those type of, uh, of pins for your links. So anyway, really cool, I like that. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's take the watch out. There you go. Man, I love this watch back. You can also take this um, divider out and these little sections out, you can use this watch box as a, you know, a, for keys or extra change or whatever you want. It's a really quality uh, watch box, man. Really, really love this thing. All right. Man, love this thing. All right. So let's talk about this watch. Now, as usual, I'll go ahead and do all the, uh, the basic specs for you. All right. Let's talk about the case. This is one of those cushion cases. There you go. You're looking at uh, 44, 44 millimeters. That's um, lug to lug. Actually, when you think about it, it's kind of the same thing. Let me see. Yep, same thing. So basically you're looking at 44 millimeters lug to lug and a 44 millimeter case size. So it's basically a square kind of cushion style case. If you're thinking about like the new Seiko reissue Turtles, that's kind of what this looks like, kind of, sort of. All right, let's talk about thickness. Looking at what, 14.7, let's go ahead and say 15. Um, the the uh, bracelet, bracelet is what, 21.7, let's go ahead and say 22. So there you go, there are the uh, the basic specs to watch. Now go ahead, on the left hand side, I'll go ahead and put all the, uh, the normal specs that we talk about. Uh, you're looking at 450 meters water resistant. That's 100, uh, I'm sorry, that's 1,500 feet. I don't normally review watches that are 450 meters water resistant, which is kind of cool. Uh, again, 1,500 feet, you know, give or take. It has, it has a sapphire crystal. It also has a sapphire case back. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. It has a Salida SW290-1 movement. It gives you about 38 hours of power reserve. It does have Super Luminova C3 all over the indexes and hands. It has a slide rule bezel. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. It has a patented sub-second display over there at um, 
at 8 o'clock. We'll talk a little bit more about that later as well. Sign screw down crown at an interesting position. What would you call this? 2 o'clock? 1.30, 2 o'clock? Again, talk about that later. Uh, you have a date function window down there at 4.30. And this is also windable and hackable. So there's a lot to talk about with this watch. This is a really interesting looking and functionally interesting watch. Um, first of all, I love the look of it. I like that little orange stripe, orange and white stripe. This is basically an aviation inspired watch. Excuse me. Uh, and it's, it definitely has that aviation feel to it. I love that shade of blue because you have a different shade of blue on the uh, dial and on the bezel. The bezel is a little bit lighter shade of blue, but I like that. I like um, the hands. Uh, the only problem with the hands um, and the dial, I think maybe they should probably go with maybe a white hour and minute hand and make them a little bit bigger. They look just a little out of place on this dial. And again, that's just my personal opinion. I like the shape of them and I like the design of them, but I think maybe white hands and maybe a little bit bigger might have looked better on this watch. Again, just personal opinion. You have kind of a, uh, a stenciled look for the, um, for the 12, 3, and 6 index. Uh, again, all of these are covered in Superluminova C3, uh, so they're going to shine pretty brightly. Now, you also have that patented sub-second display. I'll call that at 8 o'clock. And if you look at it, when you see that it's going around, the hands are basically the same length on both sides. So as it's spinning around, it's going to go from 0 to 30 and then 30 to 60. Interesting, you know, it's obviously taken from a cockpit, cockpit look. Uh, inside of a inside of a um, a fighter fighter jet or a, a you know, like an old World War II type of plane, it's got that aviation look to it. The whole watch does, as I said before. So I like the dial. I like kind of the off-centered Havan Tuvali uh, logo up there near twelve o'clock. No other writing on the dial other than basically the logo. It doesn't tell you anything else about the watch except for uh, the you know obviously the manufacturer. The rest of that stuff is underneath on the case back, and I'll show you that here. Uh, as well in just a second. Uh, it feels nice and solidly built. Uh, the case is really pretty simple. Basically, it's just uh, mostly brushed areas with a couple polished areas, especially on the lugs here. Again, the, the, the placement of this crown is, <laughs> is, is interesting. I'm not quite sure why they chose to put it at 2 o'clock. Uh, you you're not having any problems unscrewing it or screwing it back in. It's got a huge crown pop to it, if you can see right there. Uh, really nice crown pop. It's a signed crown. It's, a, it's just an interesting placement. I mean, is it, is it, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not, to tell you the honest God truth. I don't have any problems unscrewing or screwing it back in, and that would probably be my main concern. So I guess I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of liking it, to tell you the truth. So anyway, so there you go. So there's the case, and let's talk about the case back. Really, really beautiful case back. Uh, sapphire crystal as well on the case back. And of course, you have all the other important information about the watch. You see it says Havan Tuvali Squadron 1. Uh, you have a Swiss movement. That lead is a Swiss movement, uh, folks, which is really interesting in a, in a watch in this price range. Uh, water resistant, 450 meters, you know, 1,500 feet. Uh, really, really nice signed rotor, if you can see that. I'm going to try to get a picture for you here. Nice signed Havan Tuvali rotor. There you go. That might be better. I mean, just what a handsome, handsome case back. A nice see-through case back. I love it. And the fact that it's got a Swiss movement. Um, the bracelet, really nice bracelet, quality scissor class bracelet there. You've got some micro adjustments over here on the, uh, the buckle. You've got a signed clasp and buckle. There you go. Really, really, really nice. Nice solid links, uh, screw in links. Now you don't have solid end links here, as you can see. There are no solid end links. It just stops at the spring bar. That's not a big deal to me. I really don't care. Uh, this also makes it easy to put on a NATO strap. Uh, you can also get a NATO strap um, from to, uh, Havan Tuvali if you want. I have a couple. I might pop it on a NATO strap just to see what it looks like. Really, really cool. Um, let me see. What else? The, uh, the slide rule bezel. I've never been a big proponent of slide rule bezels, only because nobody ever really uses this thing. With all the you know, computerization these days and GPS and you know, little mini handheld computers and flight computers, you really nobody ever uses these. To me, they're more of an aesthetic thing. They look really cool. But to actually make calculations on these slide rule bezels, uh, unless you know how to do it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You've got very, very small font around here. Um, it, it's really just for looks, in my personal opinion. Can you use it? You can. I mean, it's, it's absolutely functional. But again, it's just really just for looks, in my personal opinion. So um, that's really a, it about the watch. I'm trying to think of anything else I might have forgotten. Again, probably the biggest gripe about this thing 
are the hands. I mean, I like the shape. Again, I like the shape of them. I just don't like the size and the color. They just look a little out of place uh, with this blue dial and all this white, you know, all the white indexes. Um, but anyway, so what else? All right, let's go ahead and try this thing on real quick. Real easy to get on. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Look, see, I was trying to put it on that way. That crown, it's an odd placement for the crown. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's functional. It works fine. All right, go ahead and snap this thing in, and there you go. It is heavy. You're definitely going to feel it on your wrist for sure. It's not a light watch at all. You know, a lot of polished segments on those links. I mean, it's got it's got a nice presence to it, and I really do like that sub second display. I think that's kind of cool. Just a really nice aviation inspired look to it. Really, really cool. All right, let's test out the loom. All right, let's go ahead and kill the light here. Let's get the flashlight. All right, let's see what we got. Now, this room is not as dark as I'd like it to be, but anyway, here we go. Now, this is obviously gonna be a little bit brighter when you're in a darker environment. But there you go, pretty good, man. Even this kind of semi-light environment, pretty good, nice loom. That Super Lumen of C3 is doing a pretty good job. I'm impressed. And the hands are really, really popping, which is nice. Again, it's not going to last but so long, um, but it does the job. I mean, it's going to last for a couple hours. Well, probably more than a couple hours, probably a few hours. As you can see, those hands are still going. So really, really nice. I'm impressed. All right, what else? Now you can get one of these over at Havan Tuvali's website for $399, and that is with free, free worldwide shipping. Again, there are four different colorways. There's a black, there's a white on blue, a white on white. Uh, anyway, there's four different uh, colorways of this watch, and I'll include all of those links in the description field for you. Again, offering free shipping, you really can't go wrong. So if you like this, make sure you go over there and, and pick yourself up one. Um, and that's guys, that's really about it for this video. If you like this video, please click on link. If you like, um, I can't talk tonight. If you like this video, please click on like, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate all of my new subscribers. And again, I've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. And again, this has been the Havan Tuvali Squadron One, um, 450 meter automatic diver and if you like it go over there and pick yourself up one I don't think you're going to be disappointed you're going to enjoy the, the the fit and finish of this watch it's a quality watch and plus you get that really cool watch box <laughs> I would almost say it's worth it for that really cool watch box but obviously you know you want to get the watch too so anyway all right guys until the next review I'll see you later take care bye bye